Hey girl, what's up? Is your sanity hanging on until your next day off? <laughs> if so, you're going to want to turn in and turn up this episode of The Charm Life to learn five unconventional self-care acts that are going to revolutionize how you take care of you. So come on in and let's get into it. What's up, my It's your girl, Charmaine, and welcome to today's episode of The Charm Life. Here I aim to help African-American entrepreneurial moms of kids with special needs feel seen, heard, and supported as they strive to create more time, energy, and focus in their life. If this is your jam, be sure to click on the subscribe button below as well as the bell to get notified of new content. So let's get into self-care, ma. I don't know about you, but when I first got a concept of self-care, I imagined days sleeping in being on a beach without my kids, going to the spa for full body treatment. But the reality wasn't that. My money and time were funny. And if I did have the money, I didn't feel like I had the time. And if I had the time, I never seemed to have the money. Then you got these folks telling you you can have this hour of power or this lengthy meditation session. Child, I don't know about you, but my life often didn't have the bandwidth to indulge in lengthy AM self-care practices that these gurus put out. So what do you do when you feel like you can't do anything? You don't do nothing at all. Are you feeling self-care stuck right now? I want to hear in the comment section below if you're feeling self-care stuck, like you'd love to do it, but you can't see a way how. We'll be stuck no more. Did you know there are ways to maintain your sanity even without going to the spa? Now, don't get it twisted. In no way, shape, or form am I saying to cancel your spa appointments, your hair appointments, your nail appointments. That would be crazy. These five things are actions you can take daily without extra planning or worrying about how they will fit in your day, who's going to watch the kids, basically into your already crazy life. So number one, say no. I'm sure you've heard me say these on other videos, but say no. Saying no is the most ultimate form of self-care. Ask yourself, how many times do I say yes to things that don't align with my life and exhaust me? Give me a hand raise or a yes, yes girl in the comments below if you find yourself saying yes to ish out of obligation or that you feel is expected of you. If that's the case, you might wonder how can saying no be a form of self-care? Well, here's how. When you say no to something, that's not in alignment with or conducive to how you want your life to look and feel, you get to pack overwhelm up and unpack joy. Follow my rule, fast no, slow yes. <laughs> Number two, ask for help. How often do you just plan or do things on your own without even thinking of how you can incorporate your tribe into the process. Are you telling yourself it would take too long to teach them or I can do it faster on my own? Those are all lies. You have to start looking at the big picture, the long game. Sure, on the front end, showing your kids how to clean the kitchen or telling your husband how to or showing your husband how to order groceries can feel like a major waste of time, but it's not. Here's the long game. When you use the power of your tribe to support you, you take some of the pressure off of you and share the load. Nothing says I love me more than watching your husband make frozen waffles and hot dogs so that you can rest or work on that bomb ass business idea. Number three, accept help when it's offered. Stop saying I'm good. Stop saying I got this. Stop saying when somebody offers you help, say yes. How often has pe have people offered you help and you say no? Again, I got this. I'm good. You know, no, no, no. I, I can do this. I'm all right. Give me a hand raise or a yes, yes, girl. That's me in the comment section below. If you tend to say no whenever assistance is offered. It could be something like somebody taking your plate to the kitchen or something big like doing a load of laundry. Being able to receive support when it is offered is a huge act of self-care. You're affirming your self-worth plus you're allowing others to bless you and to step in and support you. Number four, 
do something fun. Look, I know you about your business, but damn, Ma, could you crack a smile every now and again? <laughs> what hobbies do you have? What is the one thing that you love to do that you know would bring you joy? Are there hobbies that you've put on the back burner because you said you don't have the time? Gardening, crocheting, knitting, coloring, scrapbooking, walking, whatever that hobby is for you, get back into it. Do things that require nothing out of you other than your presence and being there. Share in the comment section below what hobby you're gonna ramp up or start up. Stepping into fun allows you to escape and be intentionally present and crack a damn smile. <laughs> Number five is say yes. Now you might be thinking, hold up Charmaine, you always telling me to say no, that saying no is a form of self-care. Um, I'm confused, please help me out. This is about saying yes to things that fuel your soul. Be it that long lost hobby, sleeping in on a Saturday, or not hosting Thanksgiving dinner, choosing more activities that support you, saying yes to things that support you, saying yes to allowing people to help you, saying yes to taking a day off, saying yes to saying no with your boundaries. But saying yes is a form of self-care. So let's keep this conversation going. Share in the comment section below, what is your largest challenge with self-care? I'm listening and I'm here to support you toward your next best moves. You wanna see more content like this? Be sure to add a thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Don't miss a thing. Look, I know you need more support to get your life. So I want you to go down into the video description below and click the link to jump into my free five day life edit challenge. This challenge is designed to guide entrepreneurial moms to create the foundation that shuts out the overwhelm of trying to do it all, yet getting nothing done. <laughs> Plus, you will be a part of a community of moms that get what you're going through. Click the link in the video description below to join that five day life edit challenge. Well girl, it's time for me to go and it's time for you to take some action. You can sit and listen to YouTube videos all day or you can get moving. Click the link in the video description, get connected into the five day life edit challenge because remember the only way to eliminate the stress and overwhelm that you're feeling in your life is to take clear intentional action. So I'll talk to you later girl, bye.